Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my XCOM 2 video. Uh, last video, or yeah, XCOM 2 playthrough. Last episode, we assaulted some hidden alien base that had a weird, dark, mysterious portal. Killed everyone there, we stole their portal, and then we had a, uh, we had a, a gorilla ops pop up like right afterwards with three of our, we still have three teammates injured, so half of our A team is gone. Uh, our medic, our main ranger, and also our grenadier. So we were having to use our alternates, uh, which does not make me happy at all. I don't think we've ever had to use this many alternates. I, the part of the reason I went with the, the easier mission. Uh, so hopefully we will not uh, not lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and launch them. Yeah, luckily we still have our side trooper and uh, our secondary ranger and our sniper. Our side trooper is probably the main person that we're... I mean, all, all of them are good, but I think the side trooper especially will be helpful. Uh, so she'll... If we were missing her, instead of one of the people we are missing, it would be even worse, I, I think. Not that the people we are missing aren't good, because they are. It's just uh, she's really, really good. Alright, we're not going to move our grenadier first, just in case we want to uh, uh, launch plasma grenades at someone we see. We're also not going to move our psi operative first. What we will do is move our ranger up here. If we see anyone, we'll attack him with the rest of the people. If not, then we'll move everyone else up. Okay, we're good. Uh, so we can probably safely dash everyone up. Moving to designated position. We've never actually used that Wraith ability. Uh, we may at some point in the future, but for now we haven't really needed to walk through obstacles. The only, the only time I can really think it would be useful is um, if there's like a building in the way and we need to go to evac zone if we're running out of time. Then instead of going around it, you can just take a walk through it. Heading out. <clears throat> but most of the rest of the time, we're pretty content with taking it slow, so. Moving out. Just being careful not to trigger any pods right now. Although we're concealed, so we probably wouldn't have triggered it anyway. Yeah, so I guess we didn't really need to be that careful. <clears throat> I think there is a sectopod on this mission, otherwise there's nothing really too bad. Roland. Enemy squad located. Okay, there's... Uh, I don't see anything. Where? <laughs> Wait. Okay, an Archon and another and a soldier. Uh, well, let's see. Let's get everyone in position first, I would say. Before triggering the ambush, uh, yeah, we can probably just hunker down. We'll trigger it next turn. Moving the designated coordinates. Moving the designated coordinates. On my way. 
move. <clears throat> I think there are only nine enemies in this mission, so it's not actually too bad. Uh, let's move her up. Confirmed. On the move. She'll be the one to trigger the ambush. Everyone else... Okay, good. There are three people there. Do we want to mind control any of these guys? Maybe we might want to trigger the ambush by mind controlling the Archon, if we can. 90% chance. Well, hmm. Let's get everyone else into uh, Overwatch mode. At least. Moving to position. Overwatch. I guess. That's not really good cover. I don't know if they even count as cover at all. <laughs> but uh, not in the direction we're facing anyway. zone with this guy. Okay. Yeah, let's actually try to uh, dominate the Archon. Well, then again, the Shield Bearer would be really useful. If we dominated the Shield Bearer, we could uh, shield all of our own units. The only thing is, though, the Archon has the, the pinion rockets, which I'd really like to use to just hit a bunch of enemy units at the same time. So let's try to dominate him. 90% chance is pretty good. And we got it, perfect. We've been <clears throat> Beautiful. Uh, did we kill both of them? I think we did. We did. Okay. And our Archon is undamaged. Oh, wow, three Archons over there, okay. Um, so we took out three enemies already. There's six more, including three that we can see right there. Um, I might just use my Archon to go over there and launch rockets at them, but then again, I don't know. They can move out of the way is the only problem. I don't, we'll see. We'll, we'll try to do something. Let me just hit one. Ooh, we're going to hit another one, maybe? Perfect. We hit two of them, and they're both poisoned. So they should be pretty easy to take out. Let's actually move our, our Archon over there and see what we can do to them right now. Where is this guy? Wait, what? Oh, never mind. We were in the middle of our turn. Um, so, okay, I guess we just have to do Overwatch with these people. I hear the Sectopod nearby, too. Oh, beautiful. Our sniper's been awesome with his kills on this this map. <laughs> He's just been shooting everyone. Oh, that's the first time he missed, but he hit, what, three or four other people already? Wow, not even close, dude. Could have killed him before he had a chance to do anything, but he had to miss. Okay, now let's try to use our Archon. Pink, blazing Pinions, melee attack. I'm kind of tempted to try the Blazing Pinions, even though they're probably going to move out of the way. So maybe we move him right here. Give us a view of everything. Oh, is someone on Overwatch? Yeah, well, Overwatch missed. Uh, let's try Blazing Pinions. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, that's how it works. Um, well, I guess over here, then. Or can we hit all three? Well, only if they don't move, right? <laughs> Which I'm assuming they will. 
but let's try it anyway. Wait, why not? Oh, we can't target them? Oh, we can only target ground troops, I guess. Alright, uh, well, we'll just have to shoot at someone. We'll shoot at that guy. And we did kill him, so that's good. Um, there are these two Archons left, plus three other enemies somewhere. We can move up and just kill these Archons. Uh, let's move to there and then try to use our our psionic abilities to kill that last Archon. Uh, maybe we can just do insanity on it. We'll rupture it even if it doesn't die and then the next person to attack will kill it for sure. Well, assuming we hit. Cause it to panic. I wonder if the rupture affects the poison. Like, will it make the poison do four damage instead of one, or does it only count when you attack it? Okay, uh, but I think it won't matter because we should be able to kill it anyway this turn. Uh, can I reach out with the grenade? No, I can't. Well, we'll just have to take the forty percent chance. I got it. Uh, so there's three enemies remaining, including I think a uh, a sectopod. Heading to that location. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, let's reload with our sniper, and then. Should we grapple to the top of the train? I guess. I just hope I don't trigger anyone when I do it. Oh, we can only grapple in the one spot. Oh, wait, wait, what? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we'll overwatch from here for the time being. I hear the sectopod. Don't know where he is. Where is our container? Okay, it's way over there. Um, so we need to kind of move up quickly before. So we're gonna have to dash this turn, I think. On the move. Because we don't want that thing to blow up and lose them, cause us to lose the mission. Question is, do I want to move my Archon forward? Because I might trigger a pod if I do. Um, and everyone's not. Most of our people aren't on Overwatch. I think it might be okay to do it anyway. Let's at least move him to like right there. Scout the area. Um, I think we can overwatch with him. Come get some. Yeah, the sector pod's somewhere nearby. I hear him. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Not a problem. <clears throat> He's probably like right here, I bet. Like in this little shadowy area would be my guess. Plus his supporting troops, which will probably be two advent troopers, uh, most likely. Up here, so next turn we can hack the uh, 
the container, or do we actually have to be adjacent? I don't know. We'll we'll make it. We have enough time. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Archon. Next turn, I think I'll move him up here. I don't want to trigger something right now. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Here, it's nearby. Um, let's move her, I guess, right there. Can we? It's just free, yeah. Let's free reload and then Overwatch. It's killing time. Got it covered. On your order. Come get some. Let's move already. Can we hack from here? We can, perfect. I'll give it a shot. I guess the alien facility lead. Oh, we're not going to make it even there, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Piece of cake. Menace one five. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive <clears throat> and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Scanning. Should we move the Archon up here? Yeah, let's just do it. There they are. Can we do our blazing pinions that far away? I'm gonna try to. I'll, I'll see if it lets us. We can, perfect. Uh, ooh, we can even hit a guy. Uh, 96. Oh, well, dead eye. 72. Uh, let's just go for the guaranteed shot. Okay, good. The uh, <laughs> the sectopod missed, and it didn't move either. So it's gonna get hit. Or yeah, I don't think it moved. So it's gonna get hit by two rockets. It looks like. Heavy fire in the zone. Actually, they all might die from the rockets next turn. <laughs> maybe the sectopod probably won't, but then everything else will. Or I don't know. Maybe I don't know how much damage they do, but it should be easy to mop them up if they don't move. I guess he did move though. Okay. Watch the flames, God, all of our Overwatch people are useless. Enemy is still up. He's gonna oh, shield them, isn't he? Damn it! Hmm. Why is it lagging so much all of a sudden? There we go. We used all overwatches, apparently. Uh, 
should probably move out of the way of its attack. Solid copy. We'll launch a plasma grenade. Oops. Wait, what? Wait, she didn't dash. Why is she not having a move? Wait, what just happened? She didn't dash. Why did she lose her move? Damn it. Are you kidding me? I'm on it. That's really irritating. There is no escape. Need to kill that guy to get rid of the shielding. Ah, oh, the shield actually protects against the, the Null Lance. That's unfortunate. Um. Should we just run and gun up there, maybe? Yeah. Oh, come on. God damn it. Adjusting aim. Oh, Nash. Copy that. Mm -hmm. I probably, probably should have put the sectopod in stasis. I didn't even think about that until, until right now. It's too late now because I used my uh because I used my uh <laughs> my whatchamacallit already. My uh psy operative. Oh can I try to hack the sectopod? Really? Attempt to seize control. Hmm. Maybe? Probably I don't know, it didn't give us a percentage chance, so I don't know. Oh, it's gonna work exactly. Oh, I see. It uses her hacking stat. Um, fifty-nine percent chance. Let's try it. If we had our better, if we had our eighteen, we could do it. Oh, well, our eighteen person doesn't have that ability, huh? Please get lucky here. Yes, thank you. Oh, I shut down for two turns. Okay. So now we just need to kill this other guy, and then we can take our time with, uh... Well, here, we'll move our Archon right behind... Wait, what? That's not a dash, is it? Why does that look like a dash? Oh, wait, they can't move? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll move right there. You. Now we can take our time to kill the sectopod. I just hope that when those things blow up, they don't destroy our objective. That would, uh, you know, an accident. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate. everyone fire at this guy and kill him. And that'll be the, the end of the mission.
Alright, so I think after this we just head back to HQ and heal up. Um, and then we'll try to... We don't have any story missions available right now, but we are researching uh, some stuff in the Shadow Chamber. So hopefully that will unlock a new one when we finish that. I think we're actually pretty close to the end of the game, although I could be wrong on that. I mean, we have most of the in-game tech, and I think story-wise we're probably close. So I'm going to try to focus only on story missions as much as possible. Uh, just so, you know, we can advance that. So I think, unless I have to, I won't raid any more ailing bases. Because the story missions also reduce the avatar pro progress meter. So I'll only spend time raiding alien bases if... I, if we're about to lose or something, we just need to reduce that meter. Uh, I think otherwise we can probably complete the game before it fills up. Uh, just because, you know, we'll get one or two points off every story mission we complete. But yeah, first we need to heal all of our, our units and also unlock a new story mission. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. Good, we countered a new alien base being constructed. efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Alright, um, I think I'm going to end the video there because we're at almost half an hour. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.